Hello everyone. I wanted to show you a bed I built for my daughter, which is an IKEA hack based on their popular current children's bed. The last time I did this was for our son four years ago. We needed him to give up his convertible toddler bed for his little sister. He was kind of attached to it though, and only wanted it replaced if we gave him, quote, the most awesome bed ever. So I did my best to achieve that, and I think it came out okay. There will be a link to that video in the description below. This time around, we don't need our daughter to give up the bed for a sibling, but it just seemed like time for her to move into something a little more big girl-like. When I asked her what kind of bed she wanted, her response was a fairy princess castle bed. Well, that initially seemed like a tall order, but I decided to give it a try. Since the current bed is the perfect piece of IKEA furniture to modify, and because it worked out well last time, I went with the Kura again and decided to do the same thing as before with buying two Kuras, one to use as the bed itself, and to cannibalize the other so that all the additional stuff matched. When my daughter first described her dream bed as a fairy princess castle, I knew it was going to be a challenge. My son had not given me much direction with his bed, so I could make the aesthetic something relatively easy. That was not going to work for a castle though. First, castles have dark wood, which means the Kura parts needed to be stripped of their clear lacquer that was on top of its natural finish before it could be stained. Second, castles have stone walls, which I initially had no idea how to replicate until I came across on the internet some fake stone panels made of polyurethane, which actually worked out quite well. In terms of the actual design and layout, this was a first draft that I worked on with my daughter. Even if you're already familiar with the lofted Kura bed, it may not be obvious that the primary bed is on the right and the tower on the left is a second Kura tipped on its side. From this drawing, I moved on to designing it more fully in a 3D modeling program called SketchUp. I started off with the basic Kura as sold and added a first floor room underneath. Carving that fairy on the door exceeded my skill set, so I commissioned it from someone on Etsy. Then we have the tower and Ikea's bed tent, designed specifically for the Kura. Inside is a bookcase and a toy box. One major change I made after this version was based on my concern that my daughter might play around in the castle on her own, in the dark after bedtime, and I became apprehensive that she might injure herself with the interior ladder. So that part has been changed in the final version, which you'll see in a second. Because I wanted to be able to access her books without having to crawl inside the castle each time, I plan to have the bookcase also slide out like this. And the final concern was that I needed to be sure it would fit inside her tiny room. It does, but it's going to be pretty cramped in there. Some people might think its size looks ridiculous within such a small space, but as long as it fits, I'm okay with it, and more importantly, I'm fairly sure she'll be okay with it too. All of the individual components are actually now finished. So let's build this thing and see how it turns out. What is this? It's a castle. <laughs> I want to go in it. You want to go in it? Are you allowed in it? What? 
Are you allowed to go in it? Yeah. Of course you're allowed to go in it. It's your castle. <laughs> it's your fairy princess castle bed. I want to go in the roof. Okay. Is it a floor? Uh-huh. Whoa! I want very, very on level. Yeah, to sit on. It's a cushion to sit on. So I tried for a week to convince my daughter to put on one of her four princess dresses and give a tour of her castle for this video, but alas, she has proven too shy, so you'll need to settle for me. As planned, we have two main halves of the castle, the bed and the tower, which I think came together really nicely and seamlessly. The pink was her choice, of course. Heading upstairs, we see a picture of Neuschwanstein Castle right outside the window, which my daughter can pretend are her neighbors in her fantasy princess world. The room is lit by remote controlled LED lights with a choice of 16 different colors. She's preferring purple at the moment. Unfortunately, my camera does not like the LEDs, so the vaulted ceiling looks kind of bizarre in the video. But here's a still shot which better represents what it looks like in real life. We've got some nature themed crown molding there. Also some cushions to sit on which will be more comfortable than directly on the laminate flooring. This fixture outside the door functions like a nightlight. It has variable brightness which is controlled via touching the base and it also has multiple colors to choose from. Heading down below, there's the fairy princess of the fairy princess castle bed. Inside, my daughter has her toy box and more remote controlled LEDs. Next is a secret passageway. Originally, this was to be the location of an interior ladder, but a secret passage seemed like a safer and more fun use of the space. Once we move inside and wait a moment, we can see how to escape. Here's what the secret exit looks like from the outside. And the hidden bookcase, which has more than enough room for her books, at least for now, and is easy enough to slide in and out that she can do it herself without difficulty. Last, I just want to show off the shingled roof, which made me really happy with how it turned out, but unfortunately, because the bedroom is so tiny, one can't really see it unless they're seven feet tall. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed seeing my daughter's bed. This project was, of course, a lot of work, but it was also a ton of fun, and I think in particular, this made it all worth it. Now, you may have noticed I don't have many videos on this specific channel, but my son and I will be posting, hopefully, a video in a few weeks about a project that we've been working on together for a couple of years now. So be on the lookout for that. And if you're a healthcare professional or one in training, or just someone that likes to learn about medicine, please consider checking out my other YouTube channel, Strong Medicine, where I post videos on a variety of medical topics. Thanks for watching.